Alrighty. What's up everyone? Daddy Warbucks here. And today we are continuing our playthrough of the Storm King's Thunder. Tarantagosh is our DM for this series, so I'm gonna pass it over to him for the recap. Alright, Tarantagosh, can you catch us up to speed? Sure. So last time we played, you guys were hired by a Water Davian, Water Davian noble by, of the Nandar family to come down to Nightstone to put at ease the people of this affluent city uh, due to all of the recent activity from the giants. And while you guys know you're no match for a giant, these people in the area just wanted some extra help to feel sleep better at night. Although when you approached uh, Nightstone, you found that the drawbridge was down, and when you entered, you saw rocks all over the city. It looked like they were thrown in from a great distance. And so at this point, you guys are just clearing through the city, uh, killing off. Uh, you've, you've come across a, quite a few goblins at this point, and so you're just basically killing off the goblins while you investigate the rest of the city. Uh, you had taken a short rest before you'd, uh, at the end of last session, so you rested up a little bit in the inn, and that's where we will kick off tonight's session. You're still in the inn. What would you guys like to do? I do believe we've checked all the rooms. <laughs> What about what about that uh, lady? Well, I don't know how safe it would be for her to follow us if we can check the rest of the town, but maybe we can escort her to the main gate at least. I, I think I think it'd be safe here. No one, none of the goblins have found me yet. I, I, I think this would be the right place for me to stay. We've killed everything from here to the gate, it wouldn't really be much of an inconvenience, but if you insist on staying. Just come back come back for me when you when you know for certain that there's nothing else that can kill me. Okay. Okay. Are you guys gonna exit the premises? Well yeah. I mean, he seems like he's safe, right? She. I mean, they're not dead yet, so I'm sure they'll be okay, brother. Let me move you guys to the next leg. Okay. Are we going up or back down? I thought you were leaving the premises. I just took you yeah. outside. You said next level, so I wasn't sure if there was like a third level. No, we're no, back no, on you the, were up. Yeah, yeah, we're back we're on, the, on the city proper. Um, in the... do you mind if I draw on the map? Go ahead. All right. So this is the inn. the The one to the to the west that was the church. It was the temple? Yep. Okay, and we already we were already in there, right? Because that's we yes. stopped the bell. You stop the bell. That's where the bell was coming from. All right. What about this building directly east? Have we checked that one out? If you're drawing, we can't see it. Well, you're... well, we we can see it, but it's got the line of sight shadow on right. <clears throat> uh, no, it does not look like you've been into the building into the east of your current. Building. So then, bubbles will point over there. Hey. Do you think maybe we should check out that building? <laughs> Just points again. Yeah, I don't, I don't see your pointer. Just look and point. Like right past John Luke at the building everyone is walking to. Very well. Who's going to tank this? I, I point at Wesley. Ask the ranger. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. You guys want to go inside there? Sounds good to me. Must check yeah. it out. 
quietly, maybe. Yeah. You guys enter into this area. It looks like a stable. With a bunch uh, of empty stalls throughout. Is there like a water trough in this stable? You know, for like. You don't seem to see one. Hmm. There is a big rock in the middle of the floor. It could be that's where the water trough once was, but no water troughs currently exist. I'd like to listen next to this door. Okay. I'd like to help him. All right. Give me a perception check. Just him or both of us? Uh, Him with advantage, because you're helping him. Yeah. So just roll, roll, again. roll it one more time for me. All right. Uh, you listen to the door, and you, you plainly hear nature on the other side of it. You're pretty sure that this door leads back outside. What's over there? I'd like to open the door and look. Okay, you open it up, and it's a footpath leading to the south. I'm going to investigate. Is that a rock in the middle of the stable? Uh, yes, it is. It's a, one of those boulders. It's like the boulders you saw outside. This one seems to have caved in the roof and landed square in the middle of the floor here on the bottom lip. Is there anything around it? Remains? The remains of the thatched roof that it caved in through. Okay, so nothing. It wasn't. didn't kill anything. No. I'm, I'm going to start checking out the stalls. Just kind of poking around, see if sure. there's anything left behind. Yeah, there's some hay in there. Hey, yeah. Hey, uh. A lot of hay uh, in there. <laughs> <laughs> I pick it up and start shaking it around vigorously. <laughs> like a Polaroid. <laughs> like a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <sir. laughs> <laughs> God, I'm so you sorry. made the joke I'm too. Just You're up. complicit. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna leave the way we came. <laughs> uh, yeah, there are some stairs, or not stairs, some ladders oh, on is that the other side that lead up to the to the loft. I'd like to take the southern ladder. I would also ladder. like to take the southern ladder, sticking very close to Fonz. I'll take the northern one. Like, uncomfortably close. Yeah, up top you see a uh, hayloft. Uh, lots of haystacks <laughs> and stacks of oats up there. I assume this is just a window. Um, yeah. Looks like a window. You can look down on the uh, stable below. From your current location, you see the remains of the roof as well. Up, um, you see yeah, that's about it. You find a copper piece just lying back there. Is there a lot of hay? That's mine. Up here with that's us? mine. I seen it first. It's mine. Up there, yeah. There's there's fair bunch of hay and oats. It looks <laughs> like this is a good place for. For their, 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 the horses of the sea. Um, I'm going to try and find a needle. I'm going to start looking through the hay and see if there's anything. Give me an investigation check. So, Pavos, when you mean that really that's, happened. that's yours. You when look you through this them. area, and then you, you come to the realization that this would not be where somebody sews, and so there would obviously not be a, a needle <laughs> within the space. <laughs> So, you, <laughs> Thank you, for you look around me. for a good five minutes looking, but then you realize, ah, I'm looking in the wrong place. I need to go to the general store if I want to get a needle. <laughs> okay. I put that copper piece on my sheet. Look, it's right there. I, my lucky I, copper. When you say it's yours, do you mean you're adding it to the general pool of stuff you've been collecting so far? And when we're at the end of the adventure, you're going to split it up equally? So, I think it's time to go downstairs. Okay. (laughs) 
You go downstairs. Right. I'm guessing you two want to go downstairs. Uh, before we go downstairs, <laughs> no, I'd like go, go back downstairs. downstairs. Or what? I have to kill the fish. <laughs> Wait, what, why do we need to kill the fish? We're not oh. yet. So it's like when we're all done this, I'm waiting long if he doesn't slip the loop. Gotta kill the fish. Not yet. Just, you know. Okay. Keep an eye on him. Fair enough. Oh, okay. And then I go down. I, I, go, I go down too with a weird look on my face. Really? Hey, that's weird. weird. Bubbles, waves, that's and weird. smiles enthusiastically. He's a fish. We can't use anything Plus, he has. You were salvaging livers from people, but when I say <clears> we <throat> have to kill a fish, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys back outside. So you're back outside of the stables. You have successfully checked that location. I'm gonna write on Wesley's face. Oh. Okay, where are we going now? Perhaps more north. I see a building that away, toward northeast. To the north. Walk up this east? Way. That away. There's a building here. Yes. Yes, that looks like a one of the guard towers. Guard tower. That sounds like it's worth investigating. I concur. Going in. There's nothing in here. A chair. Something. Is it chairs or stairs? I don't know. Is it a ladder? Oh, it's a ladder. It's a ladder. Everything's very fuzzy on my screen right now. All right, you go the in. You aren't that great. Oh, yeah, you see the two pigs are chewing some grass nearby, and they run away. The tower itself okay. is, in fact, empty. Wait, did you say pigs? For a second. Yes, they ran away to the south. Far away from you. How far away? Do they run faster than 80 feet around? Yes. They are very nimble pigs. They run out of Okay, so, the... so I would have disadvantage then on my... Oh, man. What's their AC? <laughs> they run out of the down the out, out of the city out of the you know out the city. There's a drawbridge. They they, they run away. I thought it would make a good meal for us. Mm. I want to know where all these rocks came from. Like, what direction were they fired from? Uh, you want to investigate one of them? Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, the the one in front of us, I want to see like what direction it rolled in from. Sure. Uh investigation check like that. Uh you can't discern an angle of of approach either from north, south, east, west. It seems like the the rock was dropped from the sky and landed there. Like I look like oh. instead of like a storm cloud came <laughs> instead of a storm cloud Meteor? came over and rain came down. Rocks came down. Hey, hey, guys! I relay that to everybody else. These rocks look like they dropped on the town. Not, they weren't flung. Wait, wait! I think I'm having an idea. Didn't they say there were giants in the area? Yes. Do you think that the giants have wings and can fly? No, but I, I think, think giants so? are very big and strong. Maybe they just threw them. But they would have rolled. These didn't roll. Like, they had no angle. And then I just, I pick up a rock and I throw it up in the air with no angle and then down. I'm just going to blink at you, not comprehending. So, it's, it is possible. Is that what you're, you're, you're trying to tell me right now? No, because they would leave footprints, wouldn't they? Uh, DM question: Isn't there mountains like to the north of us? Uh, what? Is there, there what north? like when we were walking into the town? Weren't there mountains to the north of us? No, not really. Oh, there's a forest to the north of you. I say they could have eaten them off the mountain, but oh, never mind that. How far away do you think they can throw? That was an out-of-character question, not in-character question. 
Well, in character, I'd like to <laughs> make them from the forest. I don't know. What is a yeet, brother? It's when you toss something. Yeah, it's when you toss something like really far. <laughs> I, I'm not. I don't even speak the common tongue normally, and I understood that one. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking character. (laughs) (laughs) Well, so do you think we should go and investigate some more? Rocks or the rest of the town? Uh, yes. Have we checked the northwest? No, it seems like another guard tower over there. Yes. Maybe we should go. Wandering the path up here. South. Hey, wait. Uh, yeah. Was there anything in the guard tower? Like, we went no. to go investigate and he distracted us with pigs. No, there, it was empty. I advised. Ah, uh, boo. Wesley's just going south here. I guess we're following Wesley. Oh. Standing around. Maybe, maybe. Wait, fearless leader? What are these buildings? Okay. Are these uh, they're buildings? I'm going to open up the door and I'm just kind of shout. Hello? Is there anyone well, the in there? Building you're next to is wide open on one side. Uh, you see the rock just crushed part of it. It looks like you can see a small hand reaching out from underneath that rock there. It looks like something, someone was crushed by it. Uh, what condition is the hand in? You're not even going to ask if it's a people hand or a goblin hand? Just <laughs> Shut up! I just want to see what condition it's <laughs> in. the condition of... I mean, it's probably only been dead maybe 12 hours. Is it, like, attached to something? Yeah. Well, well not for long. That rock. <laughs> when you go to grab that hand, you, you're, a, you're a small person, right? Me? Yeah, I'm yeah, tiny. It's, it's oh. about... The size of your hand, or oh, maybe a little bit. Oh, poor little person! I I crack the hand off. They're called children, brother. All right, give me a strength check. See if you can rip it off. You try to rip the hand off, and you fall on your ass. Okay. Because I'll come back for the hand. The other part of it is underneath a rock. It doesn't have a blade. Just cut it off. I'm embarrassed. I'll come back for it later. Wait, why are we encouraging him? <laughs> I don't know why y'all are encouraging him, but I'm going to go investigate this door down here. All right, you check door? that it, one there. It's not that it he's a murder like, robo. Uh, he's supposed to be like. Oh, here's a big collecting pieces to help like. restore his brother. Can anyone speak infernal? Um, yes, I can. I can speak this. Does this help? No, it doesn't speak. It doesn't help at all. Okay. Not one bit. Well, I you can read from that. I was that. able to correctly interpret that you wanted someone that could speak Infernal. Mm. Gotcha. You you read from, uh, you open the door and look <laughs> inside and there's runes all over the place and they look like scribbling to everyone else. So you you read the following. Let all who enter this home without the consent of its owners burn for 99 years in the depths of Nessus and freeze for a thousand more in the icy wastes of Can- Cania. Well, that doesn't seem like it worked. Like the northern house hey. or the southern house? The southern house that you're at. Okay. Hey, what's it say? May, may you burn for a whole bunch of years and freeze for a whole bunch of extra years. Question, uh, quick question. We didn't level up last run, right? No. My character sheet will not let me do anything. It's just launch character mancer or something else. Uh, just close your sheet. I did, and just reopened. Uh, I'm looking there. at it, and it looks now, fine. Now it worked. 
Cool. I fixed it. <laughs> you fixed it. I. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys want to enter this house? I don't believe in any of that crap, so I'll walk in. What? What? So you walk in and uh, you search around inside there. Do I feel like I'm burning or freezing? No. If he went in, I went in after him. Okay, you guys go inside. Looks like a, you know, house. Anything fancy in the house? Um, you look around, you see a wooden chest. Oh, fuck this again. Locked eyes? What have what the runes been carved in with? Uh, it looks like they were just carved into the wood. Okay. I'm assuming the chest is locked. Um, I'd like to look at the chest and see if it's locked. Okay. Give me an investigation. To see if the chest is locked? Yeah. You can't really tell. Well, can I open it? What's going on in there? You, uh, yeah, you, you open it right up. It's not locked. Okay. I'm guessing you want one of these two now? No. Oh. <laughs> Although I'm happy that I'm making you paranoid this early. You find that inside. The wooden chest contains the... the holy symbol of Asmodeus worth 75 gold piece. A I healer's kit. All of that stuff. And a potion of healing. <laughs> I'm not... Only my brother and I are in this room, right? Yeah, no one else went in. Just you yeah. two. I'm pocketing all of it. Alright. You guys are thieving from the party? No, I just don't trust bubbles. Wait, so, while uh, we're... Yeah. Time out. We didn't go in, but the third in the room, the door is open, right? So can't we see them? Yeah. Are you looking inside? Yes, I've been at the doorway going, What's in there? <laughs> at the doorway you're way up here okay i'm standing at the doorway okay is the chest here physically i thought there was like, is like i don't a, know man chest just like at the door i don't is that what's happening you looked in the chest you tried to pocket the slide of hand give me a slide of hand mr fonts we'll see if you have a sneaky no 15 no he sees you do it and he's just yeah, yeah, Bubbles just blinking at you while you do it. You're very not sly with that. Hey. I, I'm going to turn to John, Luke, and Wesley. Hey, guys! I, I have good news! I think they found a healing potion! Yeah. Oh, sweet. That's great news. Come in handy. I'm going to keep the healing potion on me in case, you know, Bubbles goes down again. Hey, can I have that? Listen, you're pointing at the gold. Ah. Uh, oh, there's gold too. Nice. Well, no, I didn't. I didn't out. actually see that. I was. I was talking about the kit. Can't you already do that? Can I already do what? Heal. Isn't that like your uh, entire being? I, I I see your confusion. The the healer's kit doesn't actually heal anybody. It just helps you stabilize your wound. <laughs> Hmm. Do you need it right now? Wounds when you die again. I was gonna use it to stabilize your wound. Hmm. If you insist, and I'll pass him the healer's kit, and I guess the symbol too, because he's tracking all our money and. Sure. Wait. Uh. Yes, I will. I actually have a list. So it was a golden holy. Si oh, I'm just going to copy and paste. Yes, it's in the chat. <laughs> yep. Uh, I added the healing potion, so fuck you. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait a minute. I should actually look at all this crap you've handed me. Iron pan, iron pat, bullseye, lantern, two flasks of oil. Is there anything else in the house, or was it just the chest? 
Uh, it was just the chest. That's all you found. Okay. Perhaps we continue to the south. I mean, you can see the keep to the south as well. It's it's. There's an island you can see to this with a large keep on. Comrades, is that where I am? There's a big building right there. Right, right in here, isn't there? There's a building. Another Go inside. You can't see anything in there. Yes, keep uh, you open the door, it looks just like a farmhouse for anybody else. And uh, you look around, it doesn't look like there's anything nope, of real do value. Do not touch inside. the microphone. That is a bad kiki. <laughs> What about this one here? Hmm? It's another right. guard house. You came in, you did I'm going to open the you're door. Not to do. You open it up and you see a goblin there who's startled. And you can roll in a Hey! Found one. Oof. Missing no one. We're all in there now. I was uh Where's this oh he's in the guard okay. Bubbles, you're up first. Alright, so I'm gonna start flippering my way over here. And seeing him uh on the other side of Wesley. I then will retreat. Ah and uh I'm going to do the only thing that I can do at this point. We are going to... Kapow! Woo! Alright, that hits. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, that crossbow bolt uh, goes right through its eye and posts its head in the back. And it dies. And that's initiative. Don't worry, Wesley, I got it. <laughs> wow. I go in and investigate the corpse. Is there anything on it? Uh, if you could hand me my crossbow bolt, that'd be super helpful. We'll pull it out and hand it to uh, Bubbles. Uh, it looks like shot. he has a large sack. It's filled with some <laughs> stone <laughs> utensils. Really appropriate. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Three Jesus, dude! Worth five gold pieces. I grab that. What parts do you need for your brother? <laughs> <laughs> you, you're gonna have to say it again, man. You lost us all, <laughs> brother. Do you need a big one of those? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm playing with children. <laughs> <laughs> so he has a large satchel you said no I said he has a large sack <laughs> sick, sick. okay and what is him is it just laying on the ground or yeah it's laying next to him he's got uh <laughs> Three vials of perfume worth five gold piece each. No, oh, that's not it. I'm sorry. Uh, no, he has a. There we go. His sack has got this stuff in it. Are you giving it to me for copy pasting? Because I love you. I am doing that. I it's stuff it's mostly blood hot. Ah, I'm keeping that. Totally keep. Better copy. <laughs> Any visage of a halfling. All right, I'm not. I'm just gonna go. Copper flagon one seat. Did it say no oh, GP? This was all next to the sack in the sack. <laughs> I'm good. I think I'm okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Hey, our API is down. Is it not working? 
Is what not working? You said API is busted or something? Yeah, I was just going to reset it. Because uh, yeah. he should have got a little X on him. It doesn't matter, though. Are we... Uh, so have we checked everything here? There's a... Uh, I know already. Yeah. And this one looks fucked up down here. Have we been in this one? There's a bridge. Uh, that uh, that place where you're at. Is... We... Right. Oh, the bridge is broken. It looks like. Yes, you can run and jump across. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Or are you gonna go join them? Uh, what's your, what's your, uh, what's your strength? Me? Oh, I thought we were still in combat. I have to roll for this stuff. Yeah, strength. Uh, two. Your strength is two. His modest two. Uh, Actually, oh, yeah, you're, my modest two is zero. What's your strength score? Zero, I guess. Ten. Oh yes, the mod at the bottom. Okay. Yes. I need the actual number. That tells you how far you can jump with a running with a run. Ten. So if you you can jump, run and jump ten feet. So running and jumping this gap might be difficult for you. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it'll be athletics checks to run and jump over there for anyone who has a strength score less than ten. If there was or less than a moment, sorry, less than fifteen. Increase. I apologize. Less than fifteen oh, strength. Gonna work. Athletics. Uh, so I should be able to make it nice and clean, right? Yep. If you have a strength score of fifteen, so you're over on the. Uh, how how far? Uh, is... As you run up, Dusky, or uh, before you get it, get there, you kind of like trip over a, a loose board, and you slam down face first and skid right to the edge and stop. Five questions. How far is it to the water down below? Oh, uh, that looks like 15. Okay. And is there a current? I can't tell based on the drawing. Yeah. Yes, you guys are on a river. This is in the middle of a river, so there would be a current. Is it? Is it like fast? Would we be able to swim in the water? Could swim in the water, yes. Uh, it would probably carry you, it's maybe 10, 15 mile an hour, not super fast. It's not like rapid f speed, but it's still, uh, it's a leisurely pull, I would say. But you could throw a rope across and you'd have an advantage on the checks. You have somebody over there holding it, or you can tie it off. And, um, what's his name again? Jean-Luc? Jean-Luc. Jean-Luc. Could you jump back? Here, grab a rope and then jump again. No, 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 that's not necessary. Just I throw the rope over to him. I have a rope. Throw a rope 15 feet, I believe in you guys. Uh, I think it would be much easier if we just tie the rope to a crossbow bolt and then we fire it to the other side of the bridge. Nice. Okay. You guys. You roll a one and I get hit with a crossbow bolt. I'm going to be pissed off. <laughs> I can literally throw you a rope. <laughs> roll an attack roll. Let's see if you critically fail it. You tie a rope to a crossbow bolt and you fire it. You don't hit John Luke, which is probably a good thing. It hits uh, the building back here. And is stuck in there. At which point, Jean Luc can grab it and then tie it off to the bridge. That's what I'm gonna do. Good. Now you guys can make your run and jump at advantage. Yay! So athletics with advantage. Hello. Can you make it over? I don't. Ken makes it over. Dusky makes it over. I really don't make it over. Uh, you don't. You make it almost all the way over, and you're really close. You kind of, you're kind of dangling down from below. Uh, do uh, not do water resistant. Wolf, help him. wolf, give me a 
acrobatics or athletics check. Athletics. As you're you're jumping, you know you're not going to make it. Uh, John Luke sees uh, there's this guy. He's just not going to make it. He grabs you just as you're about to fall in the water and pulls you up. Yay! Thank you, John Luke. So, uh, you're welcome. What's this big ass building here? It's like a gatehouse. Uh, you guys can walk right on through it. Uh, doors are open. I need to move you to a different map. One or a second part. Do we enter the other map quietly, or do we have to? Over here, you're in oops, wrong place. One sec, my bad. What's in the door? I'm confused. Is this like you know, the door we were just at? The, 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 yeah, we're, we're still standing yeah. in front of the door. You moved, yeah. You're standing in front of a door. You moved through the gatehouse, and now you're standing in front I'm of the keep. Push yeah, forward, forward. Go ahead, open the door. I'm gonna listen to the door before I open it. Okay. Do I Give hear me a perception check? Hmm. Uh, you hear movement inside. Here's something. I'm not sure what. We should definitely go quietly. And I'm going to open the door. Do you think it's hostile? Probably. Everything's been hostile so far. I'm going to pull out my crossbow and ready attack. Okay, you go inside. And to your right, you see, or to your left, you see some guards there. They seem startled to see you, but are somewhat relieved. Oh, you must be the relief. Oh, thank goodness. Inside, you see four guards. And it looks like there's a dining room table somewhere in there, partially shattered, and there's a body laying atop it. One moment. I don't think they're bad. I think they're friends. We should go talk to them. I will put the crossbow away. Okay. I look around the party for a second, and then I kind of shrug and point at Wesley. Why don't you go talk yeah. to them? I'll go in. Sure. All right. You see, uh, again, four guards, and then on top of a table, a finely dressed woman uh, adorned with quite nice jewelry. Laying on top of a table that is partially broken. Hello. Uh, hi. You you made it across the bridge. That's that's good. Uh, you're here to, to relieve us or help us or, or uh, something. Or find out who us is. And, oh, uh, we're, we're the guards. The the Nandor family. You know, we're guards here at the for the city. And we were here when the when the rock started falling from the sky. And you've been hiding in here. Well, we, we're charged for... with we're charged with guarding our, our 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 lady. And even though she's dead, we we need to you know stay put and and, and make sure that our keep is is well you know looked after. How did she die? Well, she. Uh, Unfortunately, when the rocks started falling from the sky, uh, the roof collapsed and she was buried under the rubble. And we we didn't have a chance to to free her from from the area from the you know collapsed roof before she died. On investigation, does it look like she was smushed? Oh. Yeah, it looks like she was crushed under a bunch of rocks. That her body is sucks. bruised bad. Hey, wait, wait. Does that mean you saw when the rocks came? Yeah, 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 we were, we were here. Can you, can you settle a bet? 
Oh, my right. friend says yeah. that they use something to throw the rocks. Maybe uh, a ballista or or maybe a, a trebuchet. I think that, that they were thrown. Where did the rocks come from? They, they fell from the sky. Uh, they they a giant sky. castle from the sky uh, just started dropping rocks on us. And then they, you know, the, the villagers, it looks like they fled. So, I'm sorry? What? Gi- what a, giant, a giant castle. A giant, a giant castle was in the sky and it flew over the city and it dropped a bunch of rocks on us. And, uh, the, the, the villagers, they, they, they fled to, to the caves, probably somewhere north of here. So, we're hoping some guard went with them too. I, I, so just, just, to be, just to be very, very certain here, if they were in a, a, a castle in the sky and then they were dropping the stones, does that mean I win the bet? What was the bet again? I said flying giants. So, flying castle, flying giants. It seems kind of the same thing. Maybe, maybe can you guys maybe get the villagers and let them know it's it's safe to come back? We need oh. we. we they're oh, in yeah. the back cave. Yeah, we, we could we could do that. I guess I don't know. I mean, is it safe to come back though? I mean, once the villagers left, they they did land for a moment and. We had a, a megalith in the in the town square. They just ripped it out of the ground and took it. I, you have a what? I, I can say I'm I'm not very familiar with that word. This is just giant rock. It had a bunch of giant ru- runes on it. We we used it for decorations, but they came and they just ripped it out of the ground and took it with them. It was. They, all this for our, they could have come and asked us for the rock. We would have given it. They didn't need to drop rocks on us. Sounds like an equivalent exchange to me. They gave you rocks and they took a rock. They killed so many people. I mean, you you may you may jest on this, or maybe you're not. I can't tell. You're a very interesting creature. You you being a robot. Um. But you no, know, this is this is a very tragic. Our lady is dead and. We 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 are here, hoping to piece things together. Can we start with piecing the bridge together? What? It was an awkward jump. But we have no way to fix that. They're not like the beams of wood that fell. I mean, sure, I'm sure somebody might be able to f- take care of it, but. We don't have the supply. We're we're just a simple keep. We we uh we we're looking after the lady here. And you, again, you see the woman battered on the table. The very uh you get the feeling uh, on these guys. You know, you have the the saying "lead, follow, and get out of the way." They're they're more of a follow type people, not a lead type people. Let's lead more towards get out of the way people, but okay. That might be a good explanation as well. Is there, these stairs, do they go up or down? Uh, they go up. Okay. Well, what's up these stairs? Well, that's the, the, the living chambers of the lady and you know, the den and library. The kitchen's up there as well. I'm going to lean in and whisper to Warden Fonz, but... Remember, I'm still not very adept at this whole talking with air in my mouth, so my whisper is quite loud. So, uh, if their lady is dead, do you think she needs all her stuff? You would desecrate the body of our lady? What? No, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I mean, that would be quite rude. I mean, what kind of, what kind of, say, what kind of people are you? You would you would rob the grave of a dead person? Well, they don't need it anymore. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> maybe not the type of people that are guarding rubble and bodies. But... I was going to suggest maybe there's a book in the library that could tell us where they hide their wood so we can fix the, the, the bridge, but okay. We can 
you know, ignore subtleties, I suppose. And let's face facts. Do any of us look like, and I air quote, people? <laughs> I you definitely don't like the. I do. <laughs> Dashing. Yeah, he's, they, they're familiar with the with, uh, smaller folk like the gnome and the human. And even the the Goliath, they're they're familiar with those types. They're not so familiar with the war forged or the fish bird. Excuse me, I am a Lukatha. We are a very noble fish race, person. and I would appreciate if you called us by our correct name. Uh huh. <laughs> so are we gonna? Yes, up to there. You gonna go upstairs? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Why not? We didn't cross that fall. bridge for no reason. <laughs> Anyone else going upstairs? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll go with you. Yeah. Upstairs. We're gonna kill these fucking guards. Sitting <laughs> <laughs> here in the fucking broken castle, guarding a dead body while everyone dies in the town. You know. If if there's no uh, enemies inside these rooms here, it's probably relatively safe. Guards are still alive. For now. <laughs> Traffic guys just like shut, shut up. <laughs> That's what you want. I'm letting you guys run your. Yeah, but I'm the reason the last campaign became murder hoboey. It was me. It wasn't like the DM egging me on or anything. No, no. I never did that. Mm -hmm. no, talk about. Look, man, it's rooms up here. the DM's job. Is, you know the, the whole trope in movies and cartoons where the main character has to make a choice and there's the angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other? Well, the DM is both the angel and the devil. <laughs> They're just trying to give you a little push in any direction <laughs> to see what happens. The guards do follow you upstairs. Oh, that's, that's not necessary, boys. You have to go watch the lady, right? Well, you're up near her chamber. I don't think this is a good place for you to be. Which one is uh, her she doesn't need it. And she might up and run away. You better get back down there. She's dead, friend. Her chamber, so we can avoid it. It's best if you just come downstairs. <laughs> and we can formulate a plan for the bridge or, or whatever need be. Oh, yes. Oh, let's let's go back downstairs, fun. boys. Go on. Back downstairs. This is the bus. And then as everybody... If anybody else starts heading downstairs, I'm gonna, like, stomp like I'm following behind and then get quieter with my steps and try to just turn around and go back inside. Oh! <laughs> I don't think you're gonna allow that, are you? <laughs> They immediately figure out what you're doing. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we should check these quarters to make sure that nothing came in with the stones falling through. We've, cleared, actually... the, we've cleared the tower. We've cleared the keep, guys. We appreciate it, but we've cleared the area. I mean, we had to search for her body. We found it. That is canon, uh, uh Q-Toy. We established that in the last episode that his together. his feet, since they're like fleshy and wet, they make like schlick, like to do. pop, schlick, pop as he walks. <laughs> How tall are the doors? They're, you know, they're eight feet by like five feet. Wait. we can take these doors and fashion them into a bridge. I think we have bigger fish to fry at this point. No, no, no that's offense. Not really, but oh, whoa. but that's, we, that's not okay. But we've got giants dropping rocks on the city and stealing things from here. We have villagers in a cave somewhere to the north that need rescue. That need people to let them know that it's safe to come back. We have other things vastly more important than fixing the bridge. If if need How be, we can. Safe? How could you know? You've been in here the entire time. How are we gonna cross the bridge to save the villagers if there isn't a bridge? 
You can swim across the river. You look very. You look like you'd be able to swim well. That's racist. That is racist. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> then you'd be the most amazing creature that can't swim well. That looks like they can. I'm just gonna like creak this door open and look inside. What he's talking? The one in front of you. Okay. This one up. <laughs> Okay. You see like, balcony dipping out on the rest of the town. I'm assuming nothing on the balcony? No. Okay. Did the guard say anything? Are we still bickering about whether or not we have to go downstairs? I think so. They look at you. They're, they're, they're observing. They, they are not leaving you up here by yourselves. If that's the... But they don't stop us when we try to when we open the doors? Not when you open that one. Okay, that's why I can go in here. You open that door? Yeah. When you go to open the door, they say, Halt, that's the lady's chamber. Only Nandar family are allowed there. Wesley, isn't your last name Nandar? <laughs> Wesley. That's your cue. We can't hear anything. Ah, uh, boo. Uh, <clears throat> uh, John Luke. <laughs> Isn't your last name Nandar? <laughs> My last name, what? <laughs> you see bubbles just. <laughs> John Luke Nandar. But not your name. There are no Goliaths in the Nandor family. Wow, racist again. And we know who our lords and ladies are, and none of you are them. Do not enter her room. How oh, about that room? All right. I Can think I point behind Wesley? Downstairs. This room? <clears throat> to the left, yeah. You open the door, no problem. You look in, it looks like a room where one of the rocks came in and caved in the floor. You look in, and you look down the edge, look down, you see a kitchen. Is there any food left, or is it all fucked? The kitchen's down below you, uh, so you don't really know. Do you guys no. smell that? I'm going to go back downstairs. I'm going up. Okay. Uh, do these stairs go back up? Uh, they go to the top of the keep, but you see the front of the. It's like caved in, so you can't actually get to the top of the. Keep. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so, Fonz, you go back downstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. listen for a commotion. If I hear a commotion, I'll come back up. Okay, you're downstairs. I guess I'm going downstairs too. I am going downstairs as well. I'm going to pay extra close attention to the guards. Is there anything weird about them? Like, are um, they three goblins stacked in a coat or something? No, like, are, are they covered in blood? Do they look like they've? Do they look like they've been in a fight? Were they holding that woman down? Uh, give me an investigation. They look exhausted, like they've been <clears throat> on guard for uh, at least 24 hours at this point. Like they, they were the ones that were awake when the rocks started falling late, late, late last night. And they've been awake all this entire time. Very tired. Okay, so they don't look like they've assaulted her. No, no, they okay. they have some, you, they have scratches and bruises, you know, all everything consistent with, you know, rocks being dropped from the sky and landing on the city. Wait, so, in the like minute when I was downstairs before everyone else, were all the guards upstairs? Yes. So could I have walked over to the lady and checked her pockets for valuables? You, you could have. You could have. Is it too late to have? I'll let you do it. Oh, but I don't want to like make it wanna... obvious that I did it. Oh boy! You notice a ring on her finger. 
That's all you notice. You hear them coming down the stairs. What would you like to do? Grab it and hide it. Okay, you grab the ring and you hide it. You have a ring with 750 gold piece in your hand. It's not in my hand, it's my pocket. But yeah, okay. Can't tell where it's coming from. So we should leave? We should leave, then. Bella commands. Well, please, try and take care of, help the villages in the in the caves to the north. Tell them it's safe to come back. Do Maybe we can rebuild from that Are you point. sure that it's safe to come back? I mean, floating castles and whatnot. I think, I think it'll be safe to come so back. Hey, Gay Wobbly, thank you for the follow. How you doing? Um, yes, please. Please go tell them it's safe to come back and we'll try and rebuild. Worst comes to worst, we can all gather here and then make our way back to Waterdeep. It's not too far. The cave that they're in, are there any discernible features? We should um, no, but you should be able to catch the path out of the city, at now, out past the drawbridge. Okay, and then I walk out. Okay, you walk out. And everyone follow? Leaving the keep. Mm-hmm. Okay. And try to cross the bridge again? Yeah. Before that, let me okay. get you guys on a group so I can get you all to a... The... As you exit the keep, you guys should all be now level two. So everyone can level themselves up, but give yourself 160 X. Did we level Woo! up because we didn't kill the guards? Yeah. Plus 160 or yeah. 160 total. So we're, uh, we're just leveling you up to the next yeah. level. So give yourself 160 XP. It should get you to 300. And then we'll use the character yeah. monsters to level you up to level two. As you as you exit, you hear horses approaching from the west. Wait, what? We're leveling up now. Yes. Okay, roll. How many rolls do I get? This is average. Character master level up, right? Yes. Uh, multi class. Do we do all this right now? Didn't if we you do want all to. this when we created our character? No. What? No, 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 it, no. No, yeah, no. Okay. You should see it says Ranger we... 1, and then there's a little box next to it that should say plus 1. Uh huh. You just ignore the multi class and go next. Oh, okay. Do so do anything with the HP thing? You uh, can it's... roll or you can take the average. It's up to you. I've rolled mine to six instead of five okay. because I have a problem. Okay. So I can just hit next, 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 right? Yes. If you'd like. You're a. Uh, How do you character mancer on the fly? Like, you should have the little. Did you give yourself 300 XP? Yeah. That's a noise. One noise. sec. You, you got it. Oh, that See looks me. a lot. I, to... I actually have to pick a spell. Okay. Uh, you yeah, you're level two now. Ranger. I would recommend eh, healing Mess something. Ah, oh, he's fine. Don't we have a healer? Yeah, but what happens when the healer goes down? Like last game. All right. So now you're in character master war. Uh, Ken, you see that? Um, messing with your character. Oh yeah, no, I see it now. Just next through that and do all the stuff and then. At the end, it will up. Jisky, you're a ranger, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want my I opinion? Went with, I went with the two hand thing. Two hand melee shit. 
You oh. mean Melee Ranger. Nice. I still recommend at least one healing spell. Hunter's Mark Hunter's and Cure Mark. Wounds are not bad spells. Yeah, but they don't Back. fit his build. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, Hunter's he... Mark do anything for my fucking melee? Well, yeah, Hunter's Mark goes good. Whenever you hit a creature, it doesn't matter if it's melee or ranged. Yeah, it's a, it's a concentration spell, so you cast it and you have it for an hour until you lose concentration on it. Which would probably happen more often if you're melee, though. Yes. Maybe. So, I definitely agree with your assessment that it's wishy-washy if you're melee, but healing is just always good all the time. Like, even just to have it in your back pocket, just in case. You know? Okay. Hoorah. How's everybody level? Bubbles, I know you're level. Fonz, you're probably done, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I should I'm, I'm done also. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Wesley, you good? That's super handy. I didn't know we could do that. I've been telling you guys to do that since the last campaign. In my defense. I was a class that the game didn't recognize because I didn't have access to all your stuff. You did, though. It was shared okay. with that lobby. So you guys are outside, uh, and you you hear horses approaching from the west, and you hear them ride right into the center square of it. If you guys want to do what you do. Well, we have to cross the bridge. We gotta again. cross the bridge. Uh -huh. Dude, can we tell if those horses and people on top of them are wearing the same garb as the guards? You cannot tell if they are quite a distance away from your current location. Okie day. The All rope right. is still in place, right? Will we still have advantage yep. on the check? Good. Let's do it to it. Athletics, right? Hey, I fucked it up again. I like Bubbles. Oh. Okay, give me athletic check. You were able to grab uh, him and uh, chuck him onto the side. Uh, Wesley barely makes it. He kind of grabs last minute and is able to pull himself up. Is that everyone else over there? We should have had... Oh, I didn't work. do one. Um, Yeet the little you boys. said we still have advantage on it? Yep. Yep. With zero, he would be better than Fonz. Okay, okay, I natural 20 that constitution check I didn't need. Okay. Yes, you did. So... As we get cl as we get closer to the horse people, we should probably be quiet until we can determine whether or not they're friendly. Okay. Any objections to that, comrades? Not on my side, brother. Quiet, he says. I mean, it's daytime, and they they easily see you from your distance. They're on top of horse. So you see uh, from the inn back there a woman, the woman from before, come out and approach this guy that's on the horse here. And they seem to be having a conversation. I don't know if I like this. Me neither. Do we hang back and observe, or are you guys just going... They're well, just going. We're trying to get to the bridge, right? Can we no, just you're already around and... like let's chill right here behind this and see if we can't figure uh, out. the guy on a, this horse here lead lead horse is like, Hey, you people. Oh uh, what do you, you uh, Kelly here has been telling me that you uh can clear some of the uh, goblins out of this area. 
Um, you did a good work for us. Uh, it's much appreciated. This will be a great, uh, great find for us. Find for who? Oh, us. Uh, we're, uh, we were scouting this village out for several days. We're going to make it a, a new outpost. See. We've been looking for something close to water deep that we can use for our purposes, as as one is wont to do. <laughs> Keller here was our, uh, you know, our, our early uh, check of the village to see if it's susceptible to our influence. And uh, there's no more villagers here. Um, she was uh, mentioning something about goblins, but you all seem to have uh, taken care of them for us, which is great news for us. <laughs> So I'm going to lean in to Wesley and Fonz here, who are close to me. And I'm going to whisper to them, but, you know, not very quietly, because I'm not good at it. So what do you think we should do here? He kind of sounds like he's happy with us, and there could be a reward, but the general vibe is certainly very sketchy. So maybe we, uh... He draws his thumb across his neck. <laughs> They're bandits, right? I'm getting bandit vibes. Yeah. Oh, what kind of band of uh? We're part of a certain uh, you know, group of people. Bandits. You know, not nothing as roguish as bandits per se. Yeah, the other other groups they they kind of look down on us, and he kind of smiles a, a smile, and the, the snake fly, the snake with wings that you guys saw earlier, kind of flies by him and lands on his neck. And, uh, oh, this, this pet of mine should be all the identification folks of your stature must need to identify us. Do any of us have any idea what the fuck he's talking about? That character? I don't. Nope. What, the, I mean, like, what does that mean? You have a bug on I, your neck, dude. I'm not from around here. That doesn't mean much to me. Um, Okay. Well, uh, I see. I see what you were talking about, Keller. Um, we are we're part of the Zentar. What the hell does that mean? We're a faction of uh, opportunists, <laughs> and uh, we uh, we we have you know networks of of people that that you know we get information from place to place and uh, you know deal in certain. He insulted us. I think we should just kick his ass. It doesn't seem like you guys did any work for this at all. As far as I'm concerned, this is our town. Oh. Well, I mean, we, we could definitely... I tell, I tell you what. It, it, you, did, you did do a, an amazing job clearing this town. And we, we are very grateful of, of, of that. And we would not want to... Combat seems so crass at this point, I, I'd have to say. Uh, I, I tell you what, I will give you this. And he has this potion in front of you. Very, very nice potion. Well, you said he insulted us. I feel personally what? attacked. What potion? Well, we can just take kick your potion. ass and then take the potion. Oh... <laughs> uh, uh, I always like adventurers. They're always so, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, able? Able Able is a word. I don't know if that's the right one. That was the word you're looking for. <laughs> uh, yeah, the potion itself, um, looks like, uh, like iron in a liquid, liquid form. What is the potion? Invulnerability it's a, potion. Asking him. Oh, this this old thing. Uh, it just helps with um, you know, if somebody attacks you, you, you know, you're like those barbarian types. They're always resistant to all that damage. This thing makes you resistant to everything. It's very nice. I will accept your potion you? as payment. Is he telling? I reach my hand out. Uh, give me an insight check. Oh, uh, it's not perception. Yes, sir. He's trying Insight. to discern if 
Uh, that is a potion of uh, invulnerability. <laughs> He's not lying about that. I, I told him I would take it. Is he going to give it to me? Well, I just need the confirmation that all four, five of you are, are, are willing to accept it. I, I, and a, as, a, as an added bonus, if you'd like, I can, I can induct you into the ranks of the Zentarum. It could come in handy later on if you, you ever are in a pinch somewhere. We can definitely have our agents spread across all the fair rooms. What do you guys think? I'm talking. We've about. never heard of them. Why would we want to join them? I was going to say, I'm, but if we're finding shit, I don't want to share our shit with them. We're not bandits. Right? We're not sharing with them. Uh, I, I've spoken with my party, and we have agreed. Here. And I approach and try to get the potion. I'm like reaching up little grabby fingers. Oh, hey, little one. Uh, I understand. Uh, 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 how how say the rest of you? I understand you are already on the board, uh, Lokatha. I I, I quite. Uh, or that's not you're not a Lokatha, are you? Yes, yes, I am a Lokatha. Yes, you're a Lokatha. Uh, I understand that Lokatha is 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 wanting to agree to this this deal. Uh, how how say the rest of you? How about you throw in a horse as well? A horse? Uh, one horse. I don't know how one horse might help all five of you. Um, I'm afraid... Um, I, don't, I don't know that that might be on the table. No, it'd be on the ground. It's a fucking horse. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's quite true. I tell you what, and he reaches into this one down here. Seems very interested in this potion. I have something for each of you other four people as well to kind of grease the wheels so we can get on with this deal. Does that sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan now. He reaches into his pouch and pulls out these. Slivers of uh, of metal. They, I mean, initially you think they're silver piece, but they are far too shiny to be silver. They are, in fact, a, a platinum piece. Four platinum pieces, in fact. Uh, a platinum Who are these piece guys? Each of you, uh, so that we might uh, finish this deal. You become part of the Zentarum. Which is, you know, we're a good faction. We're not evil like those Kraken folk or any of those cultists from before. Um, wait, 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 wait. The deal was for you guys to get the town. Well, yes, we're going to turn this into gonna, an outpost. You don't have to grow, join your, I, your deal. You don't have to. It's just, <clears throat> just an added bonus in my mind. I raise my little hand. Mm -hmm. Yes, frustration. Have you guys ever had much experience on a castle that, I don't know, maybe flies? A castle? It sounds like cloud giants, to say the, the least. Uh, yes, those are probably cloud giants. Ooh, what's a cloud giant? Oh, uh, they, they fly, they have castles uh, that fly in the clouds. Uh, according to the, the rumors or the myths, at least, there's a, there's a, you know, a ranking of the different Giants. I think they're the second most powerful giants underneath the storm giants. Still very powerful beings. Uh, and he looks around. Hmm. You know, did one fly by? Did a castle fly by? This seems very odd, all these rocks. No, no, of course not. These rocks, they're... Are they, can I tell if they're telling the truth or if they're just passing off their castle as a giant? You, you can get inside them if you want. Yeah, I'll do. Sure. You think he's telling the truth? Okay, cool. So, I mean, we're not going to keep the... Where Where did the villagers go, Killa? And she's like, oh, they uh, they ran to the, the caves in the north. Well, that, that won't do. That won't do at all. 
you you folk, uh, we need to we need to secure this this village for certain. Um, uh, there is still many a thing in this area that can uh, can cause issue for uh, for for the villagers in this area. Uh, we why don't the villagers when they come back? If you're they can down. stay. I mean, we're not going to kick them out. Is there a village still? Perhaps a few of your companions could come with us up north to try uh, and seek out the villagers. Unfortunately, I have to send people back to our original outpost to uh, the rest of the Zen network know that we're we're up and running or will be up and running here we'll send another larger force to to uh, to um everyone give me a perception check You hear, you hear movement off to the west, and it sounds like many feet are now running towards the village. Many feet, and you you see uh, the guy in front of you is talking. To you. He looks up and he's like, "Oh no, something is coming." You guys hear that too? Guys, I'm scared. Yes, yeah, nice. horse feet or like people feet? People feet, being I'm... feet. Guys, I can see it's orcs. Yeah, lots and that. lots of orcs. Perhaps we should defend the town and then speak up. Oh shit, we don't have enough time to raise the drawbridge. Everyone to defensive positions. Uh, yeah. Bubbles runs around in his spot, arms flailing. <laughs> <laughs> and I think this would be a. I'll be ending a little early tonight, but this would probably be a good place to stop for the oh, evening. And <laughs> this is going to be a large combat. <laughs> like more than an hour and a half of combat. What do you mean? We end at ten. We end at ten. Yeah, yeah. Like thirty minutes. Thirty minutes, man. All right, you heard the boss. That's got to be it for tonight. Thank you all for coming and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, make sure you hit that follow button. If you haven't already, join us in the Discord. And hopefully, I see you back next week for the uh, next installment. Thank you all for being here. And before we go, as always, I want to say thank you to everybody for the support. Gay Wobbly Bear Guns Toxic Death 1175 Devil C Y W Dead Eye Apollo uh, Toxic Death again. Thank you for the resub. Uh, Liz X Machina Ken Master G for all of the gifted subs and uh, Choo Wee Shareable Chew Toy Draylith 8 Motto Milkshake The N7 and Darkness. Thank you all for the, the subs, the bits, the cheers, the follows. It all helps so much, and I appreciate you, and thank you. I will see you next time. <laughs>